Oscar Javier with me, an icon uh, in the entertainment industry. A lot of us grew up, I'm trying to act young now, grew up watching. <laughs> Hilda Dokubo, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for <laughs> Absolute pleasure me. to have you here. I mean, you've, you've pretty much been around for as long as the name Nollywood has been around for. Right, mm -hmm. so you've watched the industry go through all of the metamorphoses that it has gone through. How has the journey been for you, if you could just describe um, it? Eventful, adventurous, intriguing, um, a learning process. A, you know, we started with no one believing in what we were doing. Yeah. Um, we were just convinced. The first film, sorry, the first film was Evil Passion, was it? Um, no, Jezebel, but Jezebel. Evil Passion was released before. Before Jezebel, okay. Yes. Jezebel. Because I remember seeing two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, we've, we've grown through everything, through people not trusting us, to people trusting and believing in us, through not having an industry, to having an industry that is rated third, to having people say, no, not me, I can't be in any way, I'm so shy. To people saying, please, I know I have the passion. <laughs> Just give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> From parents saying, no, 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 I can't have my child doing that. No, 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 my child has to. To parents now coming and saying, how much do you charge? <laughs> <laughs> to put my child You know, so we, we have yeah. really grown. We have grown from VHS to Better Come to NTM um, to Super VHS to Canon One and today to Alexa and whatever else you can imagine. Yeah. Um, we have grown from no one wanting to be an actor to everyone believing they can act, yeah. to everyone having clear idea of what they want, to everyone wanting to be everyone. <laughs> so it's been a real When, when you look back in 92, 93, 94, mm -hmm. you know, the beginning of this and now, back then did you see this becoming, did you think the industry was even going to last this long? Yes. And grow this far. Oh, yes, sure. We knew it was going to be big. Just that we didn't know how or when. Um, but we knew that with the passion that we were running, with the commitment that we gave it, um, the professionalism we all had towards our work, yeah. it was going to grow. With Just... all of these issues you mentioned, what was it that made you get into the industry? Well, I got into, <laughs> <laughs> I got into entertainment as a child. So I can't say... I knew for sure why I took that decision because I didn't even take the decision. Um, adults knew that I could, and adults said, well, go ahead and keep doing. So you but, had support all the way? Yes, I had my father support him, not my mother. Uh, you know my mother is Igbo. <laughs> <laughs> and Igbo women, you're either a lawyer, a teacher, or a nurse, nothing else. Yeah. You know, so um, I had my father's support. But, you know, outside of that was the fact that when I graduated, I graduated as a theater artist. So I knew from the start mm -hmm. that I was going to be in the entertainment industry. And so that has so sustained me. It was just perfect me. timing. Yes, it was just perfect All right. What other things are you? Coach. Coach. <laughs> Talent scout. Are there things you've not done in the industry that you feel like you will still do? Um, a few. A few. Yeah. I think that I would still love to play a role where I would sing, dance, and act. Oh. Yes, I'd like to do that so combo. Like a musical. Yes, like, well, you could call it that, but I want a mix, a real theater mix yeah. of music, dance. So proper performance. Real performance, and yeah. yes, and I think that I still wish to do that. I still um, would love to not just transit ages, because I've done that before, but play my twin. Oh. In the transit. And Those and are quite tasking, aren't they? Yes, and then I'd really love to do a movie from beginning to end in Pigeon. Mm. Yes, I'd love to do that. Would you produce that for yourself if you don't get the role? Is it something might. you would think of doing on your own? I might. Um, if I don't even do it as a movie, I might do it as a stage play. Yeah. I'd like to do something, run the whole one hour 30 minutes in Pigeon. Yeah. We, we need to. Um, it's the only time we're Nigerians, <laughs> yeah. you know, when we watch movies, play football, speak pigeon, yeah. we're not divided. Exactly. Well, let's, let's, do you, do you get worried about being typecast through your career? Because I mentioned the crime before we went on a break now, and a lot of people 
Talk about that when your name is mentioned. You know, you were one of the legendary criers. If they even say thing, <laughs> you know, did you, did, did you start to irritate you maybe that, come on, I'm, I'm a, there's a lot more to me than this. Well, no, there's a lot more to me, yes. But, you know, the way the profession is, if you can't be defined by a sentence or a phrase, then you will just um, live in pain. In other words, you enter being a specialist in or being known. Yeah in a particular kind of interpretation. In my case, I was known from the beginning as a method actor, which means, you know, I'm deep with interpretation. So okay. it's easy for me to come up with emotions. Very easy. Um, well, not very easy, but very easy when you juxtapose it with someone who is not trained to do that. Yeah. So um, it was easy, too, for them at the time to say, okay, she has the kind of face that we can shift around. We can age her and she will age perfectly. And we can just say, okay, take all the makeup off and be you and she will just be young. So since we can transit her and she has the capacity to hold on to those emotions, let's play on that side. And it was good for me because it made my entry smooth, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, so once you want someone to play emotional, you say, ah, get to that, let her <laughs> come and cry. <laughs> um, a few times I didn't like it because, you know, each, when I read the script and didn't see why I needed to cry. They just wanted the They tears. just wanted the tears. <laughs> I didn't like it, but I mean. Listen, you, you, you left us for a bit yeah. to go do some politics, I believe, or, or to get into government <laughs> or governance, you know. Why was that and how did that affect? Because it looks, when you talk about it, it's obvious that it's a passion of yours, which is mm. talking about acting and the entertainment industry. So leaving it for that long, how did you handle that? Okay, very simple. First, I had no plans of getting into governance or government or politics. I actually went home to give back. You know, um, by 2000, I had won nearly all the awards, and I, I was just hungry. I just wanted to do something different. Mm. I wanted to do something for me because, you know, it looked as if all I was doing was work, 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 yeah. and I wanted to give back. So... Somebody, um, at the time I was going to schools in Lagos, just sit with children after school and work with them. I have um, the skill, because you know I did children's theater, of using drama to teach. So I would get them and we will act through their um, assignments. And it was doing well. And somebody just said, why don't you go home and do this? If you do this at home, you become commissioner. And it was a joke, right? So I went home and I started doing it in public schools. It was exciting for teachers to dump kids they thought were stubborn on me and boof, what? So we sat under the tree and we did this work. And government and took notice. Government took, I didn't even know because I never invited them at any point. But somehow government took notice and somebody said, there's somebody who works with young people with ease. Get her to handle you. Did you miss Nollywood? I did. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did. I missed every bit of it. And, um, but thank God, because I was acting with the children, I didn't feel like I was completely off. Completely off. Yeah. yeah, I was not on screen, but so, I was doing it. So you're away for a while, you sort of come back again, and mm -hmm. you've, been, you've expressed some sentiments about the fact that there's a lot of mediocres who came into the industry, you know, maybe while you were away. And there seems to be a new, I mean, I know a lot of practitioners don't like that, a new Nollywood. You know, the cinema culture is kind of back again, but you don't feel like, you know, there's a lot of up-to-par performances in the industry. Why is that? Ooh, okay, so if you, if you can tell that this one is acting, then it's a bad job. And if any actor pays more attention to herself or himself, whilst doing the role, again, you are not doing your job. Because if you were doing your job, you wouldn't have time to focus on you. You would focus on the other person, on your role and what you're doing. So I've been on set a few times, and I meet young people who are on set, and whilst they're on set, they're fiddling with their phones. And in my head, I mean, like, this is the smallest, right, of the offenses. And the person is fiddling with fawn. And I'm wondering in my head, really? You're supposed to stay in character. Exactly. So at what point? So you hear action and you just go. And, you know, so you sound the same to me. And you, you make me feel uncomfortable 
Because then I'm waiting for you to give me something that I can respond to. Have you ever had the conversation with any of them? Oh, a lot. A lot. How do they take and, it? Well, some of them would, would imagine why I am uncomfortable because they've worked with other people who are not uncomfortable. Some of them would say, what was I supposed to do? And I would freely and nicely teach you what you're supposed to do. And yeah. some of them come out better afterwards. But, you know, you, you can't do it for everyone. So do for people who are willing to. Yeah. Why do you think that's happening, though? Um, I think we have too many social media actors. What I mean by social media actors, they have six million, six whatever thousand people <laughs> following them on social media. So they think they're superstars. And um, casting directors that are few, um, so most of the job of casting is done by directors or producers. Just go on social media, type in your name and see what number of followers you have. So they can sell them. So movie. they can sell. But you're selling rubbish because people are looking at it and they're getting uncomfortable. People are saying, ah, oh. so when they see you, people go, oh, this was when Nollywood was Nollywood. I mean, Nollywood is Nollywood and should stay Nollywood. So don't... Um, don't make people, you know, look at all of us like not being serious because of you, right? So you want to do this job, do this job as yeah. honorably as you can. Don't drag all of us in, in the mud. I mean. <laughs> What's the future for you in the industry? I'll tell you, I already started <laughs> coaching. First mm -hmm. is um, I'm a trained screen and stage performer. I'm trained right now as a coach. So, which means I can do that. I'm trained also to help people with learning difficulties. So, this is where I'm going. Um, basically training and coaching. <laughs> basically training. I, I want to do a full circle kind of thing. Not just find you as a talent, but find you, train you, mentor you, and make sure that I follow your history yeah. so we can all grow. We need to bring professionals back into the business. We need to get professionalism back right. most importantly we need people to understand the ethics of this business it's gone right people don't understand that drop your phones drop that Where phone you know? be disciplined <laughs> i mean be disciplined <laughs> concentrate right so we need people to focus people lack discipline call time is nine o'clock somebody's coming on set at 12 i mean like who does who that, does that? Yeah. Who does that? Well, thank you very much. Are you ever going to cut your hair? I was going to ask that. I cut it several times. <laughs> no, you this haven't. Is, yes, yes. Really? If I didn't, it'd probably be all the way. Yeah, just now, yeah, just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Thanks a lot for being here today. All the best Ooh, with everything. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, well, um, we did have a, a few hustle segment earlier. I just want to encourage our viewers to make sure to send screen grabs of your hustle tips. Whatever it is you've searched on the Google app, please make sure you send it to our social media handles and use the hashtag, of course, Fuel Your Hustle. And you could be sent to schedule, you know, for Fuel Your Hustle Masterclass, which is being organized by Google. So make sure you do that and stand the chance to win that. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you next Sunday. Don't just stand like teasing.